Um, our duologue is called Time by Jenny Thornton. Time. 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 Okay. <laughs> time. We stand on the threshold of time. Once time was our friend, we never knew that time would be our enemy. Where have the years gone? What would I have done with my years? Getting old, I didn't ask for this. Would I have had silver hair when I got old? I miss my husband, why did he have to leave me? I would have loved to have known my, no. I would have liked to have known what it would have been like to be married. And children, I never see my children. And children, I would like children. Louisa, it's not what we expected. Rose, what's it like? Louisa! Louisa, are you awake? Yes. Do you think the rest of the dorm is sleeping? Well, Betty's snoring her head off. Well, Betty's snoring and Ruth's done her usual grunt. Only a few more weeks and we'll be free of this place. No more curfews or reporting. We'll be able to go our own ways, make our own decision. Oh, Rose, what is our own way? I don't know. All I do know is that it has to be better than this. If we leave here, we'll still be friends, right? I wouldn't bear it if I lost your friendship. I was sticking to you like glue. Who else would have the chief bridesmaid? Chief's bridesmaid? Of course, what a day that'll be. I know, we'll make it a double wedding. With two dashing handsome men by our sides. Both tall and slim, with fire in their eyes. With their hearts and minds only for us. We'll honeymoon in Paris. Take an evening cruise along the Seine. Visit the Eiffel Tower. Climb up the Notre Dame. And seal our wedding vows at the cathedral. Together? Together. Oh, Louisa, what a wonderful day that will be. Rose, I want children, and lots of them. Two boys and two girls. With blonde curly hair and shining eyes. Three o'clock. We must get some sleep. For two years, every time we heard three bells, we stopped what we were doing and said each other's name. Until the day of the air raid. I will never understand what happened that day. Why was Louisa standing outside the town hall when the siren had gone? Why didn't she go down into the shelter? I kept my promise till the end. Perhaps if I had not waited for the town clock to strike three, I would have made it to the shelter. Time. We stand on the threshold of time. Once time was our friend, we never knew that time would be our enemy. Where have the years gone? What would I have done with my years? Getting old. I didn't ask for this. Would I have had silver hair when I got old? I miss my husband. Why did he have to leave me? I would have liked to have known what it had been like to be married. And children. I never see my children. And children. I would like children. Louisa, it's not what we expected. <laughs> 